What's up babes, it's Curly Lisa Victoria. I am back with yet another video. If you guys are new here, hi, welcome to my channel. If you've already been subscribed, thanks for coming back. So forgive the mess in the back. I am actually doing a sweep and mop. <sighs> I've already done the kitchen, I've done the bathroom, clean the bathroom, clean the kitchen. I just have some dishes to put away and some things to do in the kitchen. But while the floors are drying, I decided that I wanted to make the video here. Mr. Bricks decided he wanted to wake up as well. So if you guys hear him crying through this video, he's just gonna have to cry real quick. I keep peeping in so he can see that I'm here but can y'all hear him whining I'm right here bricks it's almost like he has to see me or he doesn't believe that things are the way they should be anyway I wanted to make this video why it's still light outside um let you guys kind of see what my hair is looking like first of all let's just let's just start here if you're not already subscribed what are you doing subscribe to your own channel you keep coming back for a reason I feel like my hands feel so dry you know like when you be cleaning with uh cleaning products and stuff if you don't have on gloves your hands start to feel a little dry especially like bleach and stuff i don't have on my uh gloves because my fingernails i told you i never broke a couple so it's just everything is really sensitive and i just don't have time um to be trying to keep them from the nail cracks cutting the gloves but anyway um I wanted to get on here and show you guys what my hair is looking like. I know I just talked about my hair. I made a video and I didn't upload it because I was, sis, it wasn't quality. So I didn't upload it. I am so freaking hot. Anyway, um, this is where my hair is. I'm talking fast because you know when you look outside and you can see that the sun is starting to go down. You kind of be trying to get it in real quick. So this is what my hair looks like from the side. Mind you, it is still like crinkly curly from the braid out. So this is pretty much where my hair is at. I'm right here, Briggs. So y'all could see the length of my hair. So um, obviously my hair looks like it's in layers because it's in layers. When I first started these sets of locks, I knew that I wanted that layered look. Um, so the way that I started them, I knew that, hey, your girl might've been looking a mess in the beginning, but we came through. Y'all see what we looking like now, right? So this is two and a half years. We literally hit 32 months today if i'm wrong i'll correct myself in the description so look for the accuracy on the months but i believe we're 32 months today in july 1st 2022 i'll be three years which 12 times three is 36 months hey he gets a serious attitude anyway i gotta keep filming because if i keep tending to him hold on y'all I had to tend to bricks and then my neighbor was leaving. My windows are completely like my blinds are open and he backs his car in facing my window and I wasn't trying to be seen, okay? Like I know I'm being on camera, but I wasn't trying to be seen like that. Okay, so anyway, anyhow, that's where my hair length is. So I'll be three years, July 1st. 2022 i started this set of locks july 1st 2019 if you're new here this is not my first rodeo when it comes down to locks i actually had locks in college um i had to be at that time i think i was 18 19 kept them for two and a half years so by by like 21 years old i ended up combing them out saving my natural hair um and now i literally decided to return back to locks i always tell myself before i turn 30 i gotta return back to locks still in my 20s um I ended up starting these locks, I think, mid-20s, so like, probably like 25. Well, no, I was like, I was like, I think it was, it was 26, 25 or 26 that I started them. Hey! So anyway, um, that's where we're at, and long story short, I'll be hitting three years, July 1st, 2022, is what I'm saying. So... I get questioned a lot of times about how I grow long hair. I know people stop me and don't think that my hair is real. Let me let me fill you in, sis. It's real. It's real. It's real. The inches are real. And let me tell you, so I do less. I always say this in my videos, less is better. Some people spend so much time trying to do so much to their hair. You buy all these products, you do all this stuff, and literally like more is not better in some cases. Simplicity and less is better. Hey, Bricks! He is up on the, um, literally up on the gate, but I just cannot. He will get into everything if I let him out. Hey! Um, long story short, so less is better. So I oil my hair, I will shampoo my hair. I don't really condition. Every blue moon I'll condition like a couple times in a year if I want a complete wash, but I don't condition because I know the grade of my hair. I don't know about y'all, but the grade of hair that I have, 
if I start conditioning my hair, my locks are going to try to start unraveling at some point because it's going to cause my hair to become soft and ultimately unravel out of the locks at some point. And what shampoo does is shampoo helps it to frizz better. It helps my hair to um, continue to, you know, thicken up and stuff like that. So more frizz for me is better when it comes to locks. When I was a loose natural, I didn't really shampoo because I didn't want it to dry out my hair and I didn't want the frizz. But I would condition because I wanted the softness, I wanted my curls, I wanted it to be lathered in. So it's crazy how the natural hair game works. You can literally rock your hair a certain way, whether it be locks or you rock it loose natural and you will notice that your routine for one is the complete opposite for the other. Another thing that I would say since this video is starting to kind of be like tips and all that, it's just a random lock video um, about just different things because it is the first of the month and you guys know the first of the month is my lock anniversary. Well, not my lock anniversary, it's my month anniversary of my locks first every month so I like to talk about my hair either I'll do something like oil it wash it do my edges do something today I'm not doing something I'm just talking about it a lot of the things that I say in my videos it does sound repetitive and it does sound like I repeat myself and the crazy thing is I don't like repeating myself however when it comes down to things like this when it comes down to talking about your hair or you're talking about a, a journey of some sort you have to continue to be rep repetitive in the things that you're talking about one to remind people just in case they didn't catch it two you always have new viewers whether you're stopping by you're actually subscribing or you don't subscribe regardless I feel like I have to fill you guys in on the updates of my hair or I have to let you guys know just from jump what it is um, I get stopped I get asked a lot about my hair people ask me who does my hair um, or who do my hair and I tell them I do my own hair I started my own hair maintenance everything happens from your girl and um, I've also had a good amount of people ask me if my hair had lock extensions if it were fake the to answer that question I have never had lock extensions before um, my locks are my real locks it's my real hair um, I don't have any extensions it's all my natural hair um, so like I said I I will really constitute the growth of my hair to my my routine I eat healthy I drink a lot of water I take my vitamins I mind my business I do all of the, the the jazz right and a lot of that does contribute I find that in anything you do it's tied to a routine whether or not you want to call it a routine it's not one thing that's going to produce the results of something for example when you want to become successful is it simply that you woke up early every morning to make you successful no it's the sacrifices you made it's the it's the risk that you took it's a whole array of things that um basically work together to produce what it is that you're trying to produce and get results so i would definitely say i attribute my growth and stuff like that for my hair not only for my routine of washing it and keeping a clean scalp but also what i eat what i drink i drink lots of uh protein shakes i also drink lots of green smoothies green drinks like obviously i'm not telling you to go be vegan but i'm vegan so a lot of my things that I eat fruits and vegetables they aid in growth they aid in digestion they aid in not having um clogged hair follicles from dryness and drinking a lot of water helps my hair to promote healthy growth healthy uh clean scalp and also it doesn't allow for my pores to become clogged so I think if you are trying to grow long hair without the gimmicks you're trying to have healthy hair because I always say it's health over length but if you can have both why not so if you are truly, 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 truly wanting to grow long hair and have healthy hair, then it's going to be all tied into your routine, your regimen. But I feel like people start to think, oh, well, my hair looks like so and so, so I have to do the exact same routine. Well, that might not work for you. And I know it sounds cliche to hear that, well, this works for me, so it might not work for you, but it's the truth. We can literally try out the same hair product right now and you can have optimal results and I can feel like the product was trash. Because in the end of the day, you have to learn your hair. You have to learn your routines. You have to learn what you accept, you know? And I think sometimes we look, we as in speaking hypothetically, like people in general, look at other people. They see, oh, I love their hair. My hair is just like theirs. But what you don't realize is it's not just like theirs. From the outward appearance, it may appear to be similar, but the routines may not even be tied up in the same type of products that work. So find what works for you. The longer I embark upon my journeys, 
I always find myself becoming less and less absorbed in products. When I was a loose, curly natural, I wanted to have multiple. I was a product junkie. I wanted to know how did this product make my hair look. And there were different products that did not work for me like the other ones would work for me. Hey, 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 hey. He has the, all of that space and he cries because I'm not picking him up. Hold on. Bricks! Cut the whining out. I am right here. He feels like if he can't see me, it's a problem. He starts crying, but I'm right here, but he still can't see me from the corner, so it's a problem. Um, anyway, so I feel like I used to be a product junkie. I used to want to have all the products, and I wanted to see what were they going to do for my curls. But whenever I'm locked, I'm not like that. I don't want all the products. I keep me a good amount of shampoos for my locks. So I'll do like castor oil um, as my oils or tropical roots. Or I'll do um, uh, avocado oil, uh, macadamia oil, argan oil, um, coconut oil. What else do I typically use? Peppermint for blood flow. Um black castor oil um jojoba oil it's a whole bunch of oils that i don't mind using tea tree um and obviously not all of these oils smell really good but at the same time they do the job and a lot of times i don't use them at the same time um i may use them in rotation because i'm just a firm believer of if you continue to use the same products over and over and you don't have anything to switch up the monotony then your hair will start to get used to the same products and i feel like it will not work as well but if you reintroduce a certain product in maybe two weeks from now or a month from now it's almost like your hair receptors go up like oh this is a new product when in reality it's not it's just being rotated in at the end of the month so that's how i like to keep it in all of my products when it come down to my hair i like to keep about three on hand of each Three different oils, three different shampoos, three different that type of thing. Now the only thing I have right now that I use for moisturizer is my Mayel Organics Avocado Hair Milk. I swear by that. I've been using it since I was a loose natural, a curly natural, and I've been using it on my locks. Um, and I feel like it's very moisturizing. And then like I said, it's avocado hair milk for the hair. As far as my edges, I use that Melrose Edge Control that I got from the beauty supply that I'm absolutely loving. Um, because I feel like it doesn't harden my hair whenever it's not you know fresh I think it starts to look like a moisturizer with no flakes so I like that a lot um, I'm right here bricks I like that a lot um, and then when it comes down to that's pretty much my rotation and when I retwist my hair I've been using aloe uh, aloe vera 100% aloe I used to use and I'm not gonna say used to because I'll use it if I need to to this day La, uh, Murray's Lock Gel which it's called gel but it's very lightweight it's water based and it does not feel like gel it actually feels very loose it feels like if water had weight is what it feels like I'm right here Bricks um, but long story short y'all I absolutely love it um, absolutely love it so yeah hold on let me check Uh, period, yes. Um, period, that's a big fish. Hey, Bricks, I'm right here. Um, anyway, sorry y'all, but yeah, I don't use that many products. So like I said, I'm going to run back some of the products that I just told y'all that I use so y'all can just be hip. Um, I'll try to link them in the description bar as well. So look in the description if you want to know, but my L organics avocado hair milk and all the oils that I named, um, there's no specific place that I get those. I will make sure that I put, um, the names of them in the description if i can find some i'll i'll link them but i don't want to find specific brands because i don't want you to think oh this is the brand she said she used no it's just really the types but as far as the tropical roots the uh jamaican black castor oil like certain oils like that i'll try to link the ones i actually use and the other ones i'll just name and you could just get them as you get them uh as far as shampoos 
I get a lot of my shampoos from Ross because I don't know. I, I know Ross is dressed for less, but at the same time, I feel like they really do be coming through on the prices for black owned products. Brits! Absolutely not. I got a, I got, I got. I got um, something on my hands because when this dog get bigger, he gonna be something. He gonna be something. Hey, get down. But I will link all the products mentioned in the description. Some will have links so you can go look. But like I said, you can find what you want. But I think Ross and TJ Maxx and Marshalls, they always have good like skincare, hair care, uh, self care things. And I don't think, I think people overlook them. Hey, people overlook them. And they have a really, really good section. So make sure you guys check them out. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update. Let you guys see what my hair was looking like. We'll be, like I said, three years July 1st. Um, and I just think, I don't know, it's just really taken off. So I've been enjoying the journey. Haven't truly been rushing the process because I feel like you got to trust the process. And also, because I, this is not my first rodeo with these locks. I just feel like I knew what I was getting myself into when I started them again and and I'm okay with the patience I think at this point I'm at a great enough length of hair right now that if my hair never thickened up anymore or grew anymore I would be completely satisfied so um, make sure you guys like comment share subscribe and I will see you beautiful babes in the next video